the weight of my husband's financial complaints bore down on me like an oppressive cloud. It seemed as though every conversation revolved around his perpetual dissatisfaction with our financial situation. He would often lament about the lack of money and his inability to provide for our family's needs. I sympathized with his struggles. The job market had been unforgiving, and he had faced a series of disappointments in his search for stable employment. But as the days turned into weeks, and the weeks into months, his complaints grew louder and more frequent. It became the soundtrack to our lives, overshadowing the simple joys we used to share. We tightened our belts, cut back on expenses, and made every effort to make ends meet. Yet, it felt like an endless uphill battle. His complaints about money created an atmosphere of tension and stress within our home. I would lie awake at night, burdened by worries about bills, debts, and the uncertain future that loomed before us. Despite my own frustrations and fears, I tried to be a pillar of support for my husband. I listened to his rants, offering words of encouragement and reassurance that things would eventually improve, but deep down, I yearned for a change. A change in our financial situation and a change in his perspective. Little did I know that beneath the surface of our strained existence, a remarkable twist of fate was about to unfold. The heavy burden of my husband's complaints would soon collide with an unexpected discovery that would shatter the facade of our reality, forever altering the course of our lives. It was a quiet afternoon when fate led me to the garage, searching for some long-forgotten Christmas decorations buried beneath the clutter. As I moved aside boxes and unearthed forgotten trinkets, my eyes fell upon an inconspicuous metal safe tucked away behind a stack of dusty containers. Its presence intrigued me, for I had never seen it before. Curiosity sparked within me, and I couldn't resist the urge to explore further. What secrets could this unassuming safe hold? Why was it hidden away in our garage, concealed from prying eyes, concealed from prying eyes? With trembling hands, I approached the safe, noticing its sturdy lock and the air of mystery surrounding it. As I inspected the safe, I couldn't help but wonder why my husband had never mentioned it. Was it a forgotten relic from a bygone era, or was there something more to it? Without hesitation, I resolved to uncover the truth concealed within its metal confines. I searched the garage for any clues, trying to recall any mention of the safe in past conversations or hints that could shed light on its origins. Yet, there was no recollection, no explanation for its presence. It seemed as though this safe had been deliberately kept hidden from my knowledge. With a mix of trepidation and excitement, I decided to delve into the next step, opening the safe itself. I examined the combination lock, studying it intently as I contemplated the possibilities. Would it be locked for a reason? Would the contents hold answers to the financial struggles that plagued our lives? Taking a deep breath, I began to twirl the dial, feeling the satisfying clicks as the tumblers fell into place. The lock yielded, and the door swung open, revealing a sight that left me utterly dumbfounded. Inside the safe lay a vast sum of money, stacks of cash neatly bundled together. My eyes widened and my heart skipped a beat. How could this be? I was astounded by the sheer amount of wealth hidden away, undetected in our very own garage. Questions swirled in my mind like a tempest. Why would my husband keep such a significant amount of money hidden from me? What purpose did it serve? And how did it connect to his constant complaints about our financial struggles? The discovery of the hidden wealth within the safe left me with a mix of awe, confusion, and a gnawing sense of unease. How could my husband, who constantly complained about our financial hardships, have accumulated such a substantial sum of money? The pieces of the puzzle didn't fit together, and I yearned for answers. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, I carefully examined the contents of the safe. The sacks of cash were arranged meticulously, as if someone had taken great care to organize and preserve them. The denominations varied from crisp bills to slightly withered ones, hinting at a collection accumulated over time. As I sifted through the money, searching for any clues or indications of its origin, I noticed something peculiar. Tucked between two stacks of cash, I found a small envelope. I gingerly opened it, revealing a handwritten note. The note was short but cryptic, containing a few lines that only deepened the mystery. The past cannot be changed, but the future lies within your grasp. Seek the truth, 
and you shall find liberation. My heart raced as I tried to decipher the meaning behind those enigmatic words. It seemed as though someone had left a trail for me to follow, urging me to unravel the truth hidden within my husband's secrets. It was a call to action, an invitation to embark on a journey that would test my courage and resilience. With the note in hand, I couldn't ignore the nagging feeling that there was more to this story than met the eye. It was time to confront my husband to bring this secret into the light. As I closed the safe and carefully locked it back in place, a newfound determination surged within me. I sought an opportune moment to broach the subject, waiting for the right time when we could have an open and honest conversation. But the questions weighed heavily on my mind. How would he react? Would he deny any knowledge of the safe and its contents, or would he finally reveal the truth behind his financial woes? The weight of the hidden safe and its contents pressed upon my thoughts with an intensity that I could no longer ignore. It was time to confront my husband and bring the truth into the open. With a mix of anticipation and anxiety, I chose a quiet evening to broach the subject that had consumed my every waking moment. Sitting together in our living room, I mustered the courage to delve into the depths of our shared secrets. I approached the conversation gently, expressing my concerns about our financial struggles and the unexpected discovery I had made in the garage. I watched his face closely for any flicker of recognition or guilt. At first, he seemed genuinely surprised by my revelation. He furrowed his brows, his eyes searching mine for clarity. His initial reaction was one of confusion, denying any knowledge of the safe or its contents. But something in his demeanor felt off, as if he was carefully choosing his words, crafting a narrative to protect himself from the truth. I pressed on, recounting the details of my finding, the stacks of cash meticulously arranged within the safe. His gaze shifted, avoiding my eyes as he struggled to conjure an explanation that would reconcile the stark reality before us. With each passing moment, the tension in the room grew thicker. I could sense the weight of unspoken truths, the mounting pressure to break free from the web of deceit that had ensnared us both. It was a pivotal moment where the facade of our marriage hung in the balance, teetering on the precipice of revelation. Finally, as if surrendering to the undeniable weight of evidence, my husband's defenses crumbled, his shoulders slumped, and he confessed to the truth that had been festering beneath the surface for far too long. He revealed that the safe and its hidden fortune were the result of his involvement in illicit activities. He had walked a dangerous path, entangling himself in a world of deceit, dishonesty, and clandestine dealings. The money he had hoarded was tainted, a product of a life lived on the wrong side of the law. My heart sank as I absorbed the gravity of his admission. The man I thought I knew so well had been leading a double life, shrouding his true identity in a veil of lies. The implications rippled through our relationship, shattering the trust we had built over the years. The weight of my husband's confession hung heavily in the air, filling the room with an atmosphere of disbelief and shattered trust. I struggled to process the magnitude of his actions and the implications they had for our marriage and future. However, Amidst the chaos of emotions, a flicker of doubt began to emerge. As I absorbed the shock of his admission, a nagging voice inside me whispered, Can I really trust his words? It was difficult to reconcile the man I had known for so long with the revelation of his secret life. Questions swirled in my mind, each one a dagger of uncertainty. Summoning my courage, I confronted him about the discrepancies in his story. How could he claim ignorance of the safe and its contents when it was hidden within our very own garage? Why would someone go to such lengths to amass a fortune through illicit means and then deny any knowledge of it? His response was one of desperation. He clung to his denial, desperately trying to salvage what remained of his shattered credibility. He wove a web of half-truths and excuses, attempting to convince me that there must be some mistake, some mistake, some misunderstanding but the evidence was too overwhelming to dismiss. Caught between the desire to believe him and the stark reality before me, I found myself at a crossroads. Should I trust the man I had vowed to love and honor, or should I follow the trail of evidence that led to a truth I had never fathomed? With a heavy heart, I chose to confront the inconsistencies head on. I began to gather more information, digging deeper into his past and seeking out any additional evidence that could shed light on his actions. 
Each revelation, each revelation of hidden accounts or suspicious transactions, further eroded the foundation of his denial. Yet, the battle within me raged on. I wanted to believe that he was simply a victim of circumstance, a good-hearted man who had made regrettable choices. The thought of a life shattered by betrayal was too painful to fully embrace. Chapter 6 marked a turning point in my journey as I embarked on a personal investigation into the depths of my husband's hidden life. The seeds of doubt had taken root, and I was determined to uncover the truth that lay beneath the layers of denial. Armed with my growing resolve, I delved into the labyrinthine world of my husband's past, meticulously piecing together fragments of information and following trails that led me to unexpected places. It was an arduous process, requiring patience, resilience, and an unyielding thirst for the truth. I started by retracing his steps, reaching out to old acquaintances, and delving into his financial records. Every conversation and every document revealed a puzzle piece, slowly forming a picture that I had never anticipated. As I peeled back the layers, I unearthed connections to people and places I'd never known existed. The clandestine dealings my husband had engaged in came into focus, painting a picture of a life lived in the shadows. The web of deceit he had spun grew ever more intricate, and I found myself questioning everything I had believed about our marriage. There were moments of doubt where I questioned my own motivations and wondered if I was delving too deeply into a darkness that should remain undisturbed. But my determination remained steadfast, fueled by a need to understand the full extent of his actions and the consequences they had on our lives. Along the way, I encountered individuals who held fragments of the truth, informants, reluctant confidants, and individuals with their own motives. Each interaction propelled me forward, shedding light on the clandestine world my husband had inhabited and the webs of deceit he had woven to conceal his true self. As the investigation deepened, I faced moments of anguish and despair. The weight of the truth threatened to consume me, and the implications for our future loomed like a dark cloud. But within the depths of the darkness, a newfound strength emerged an unyielding resolve to seek justice and find a path forward, no matter how treacherous the journey. The pieces of the puzzle began to fit together, forming a shocking narrative of my husband's involvement in illicit activities. With every revelation, the veil of denial grew thinner, and the truth emerged from the shadows, demanding to be seen. I confronted individuals who'd been entangled in my husband's web of deceit, seeking their perspectives and insights. Reluctant witnesses came forward, sharing fragments of information that shed light on the extent of his actions and the lives he had affected. As the truth took shape, the enormity of his deception weighed heavily on my heart. The person I thought I knew, a partner, a companion, and a confidant, had been leading a dual existence, operating in a realm far removed from the values and principles I held dear. The evidence piled up, overwhelming and irrefutable. The clandestine transactions, the hidden accounts, and the connections to unsavory individuals formed a tapestry of deceit that could no longer be denied or ignored. The truth, once obscured, emerged with an undeniable force, challenging the very foundation of our relationship. With a mix of apprehension and determination, I sought a private and secure space where we could have an open and honest conversation. It was a daunting task, knowing that the truths to be unveiled would forever alter the dynamics of our relationship. As the time approached, I felt a surge of conflicting emotions coursing through my veins. Anger, sadness, and a profound sense of betrayal. I knew that this conversation would be a defining moment, a turning point from which there would be no return. When the moment arrived, I carefully laid out the evidence before him. The financial records, the testimonies of those entangled in his web of deception, and the undeniable proof of his involvement in illicit activities. There was nowhere left for him to hide, no more excuses or denials to offer. The room grew heavy with tension as he absorbed the weight of the revelations. His face contorted with a mix of guilt, shame, and a glimmer of remorse. He attempted to defend his actions, to explain the choices he had made, but his words fell upon deaf ears. For my part, I listened with a heavy heart, yearning for some semblance of understanding or closure. But the trust we had built had been shattered, and the path to forgiveness felt impossibly distant. 
The confrontation was marked by raw emotions, tears, raised voices, and the unmasking of a truth that had festered in the darkness for far too long. It was a cathartic release of pent-up frustrations and a declaration of the pain caused by his deceit. In the aftermath of the confrontation, we faced a daunting reality, a reality defined by the shattered trust and the irreparable damage inflicted upon our relationship. The journey forward would be difficult, filled with soul-searching therapy and a revaluation of what we held dear. The choices made in the aftermath of this confrontation would shape the trajectory of our lives as we grappled with the aftermath of betrayal and the challenge of rebuilding in the face of profound pain. In the aftermath of the confrontation, we faced a crossroads, a choice between holding on to the remnants of a broken marriage or finding the strength to forge separate paths. It was a decision that demanded courage and a deep understanding of our own needs and desires. For me, the journey forward meant reclaiming my sense of self and rebuilding my life on a foundation of authenticity and honesty. I sought solace in the support of loved ones, turning to friends and family who offered guidance, empathy, and a safe space to heal. Therapy played a vital role in our individual journeys toward healing and self-discovery. Through introspection and professional guidance, we confronted the emotional scars left by the revelations and navigated the complex emotions that accompanied the aftermath of betrayal. In this chapter, I embarked on a process of self-reflection, identifying my own strengths, passions, and aspirations. I rediscovered the things that brought me joy and pursued personal growth and development. It was a time of embracing my own independence, cultivating my own identity separate from the wreckage of the past. As the journey unfolded, I found solace in creative outlets such as writing, painting, or pursuing hobbies that allowed me to express my emotions and find catharsis in the beauty of creation. It became a means of channeling my pain into something positive and transformative. This chapter also entailed making difficult decisions about the future of our relationship. While the wounds were deep, there were moments of forgiveness and understanding that emerged through the healing process. We navigated the complexities of forgiveness, recognizing that it didn't absolve the past, but rather served as a catalyst for our own growth and personal liberation. The journey forward was not without challenges, setbacks, or moments of doubt, but with each step, I embraced the opportunity to redefine my life, embracing newfound resilience and a sense of empowerment.